that they were going to make it difficult to get to the net here tonight. What was it like to, to be in on all four goals and, and help uh, in the victory tonight, Mitch? Yeah, it was great. I think uh, our whole team played the way we wanted to tonight. We came out with high energy. Uh, I think uh, we didn't mess around in the neutral zone. We are getting pucks in and, and trying to make it hard on their D all night. How big is it for a player like Igor getting his first NHL goal and obviously you're a part of that play as well? Uh, it's great, yeah. You, uh, I mean, you always remember your first one, so it's a special feeling. Uh, it was a great play by him, trying to f finding that hole, and uh, for me, I just tried to place it for him that he could walk into it. And, uh, it was a great shot. I know he's been working on his English. We, we haven't talked to him too much. How would you describe what he brings to the room, what he's like? Yeah, he's uh, pretty funny. He's a great soccer player, but uh, his uh, his English is still getting better and better every day. Um, you know, it's always a thing that uh, I think people come over. That's the first thing they work on. So it's getting better by the day, and. Uh, he's, uh, he's a pretty funny guy when he plays soccer. He doesn't really complain too much about going out or anything like that. So it's, uh, it's nice having that. Even with some uh, injuries to the Bruins, uh, how did you feel like your line did going up against their top unit? Uh, yeah, I thought we played well against them. Uh, I mean, even without Bergeron, those two are still very deadly. And uh, for us, just making sure we're making it hard on them, getting pucks in, like I said, and, and trying to work the cycle as much as possible going east-west. And I think we did a good job of that tonight. I think we limited their odd man rushes by staying above them all night, and that's something that, uh, if you want to be successful, that's something we're going to have to keep doing. The impact of secondary scoring on this team, at least emotionally, when you see what the third pairing did tonight and what the third and fourth line players have done. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I think if you look down our lineup, I mean, we really don't have a third or fourth line. I think all our lines, you know, can play at a top-notch line anywhere, and uh, there's a lot of skill in all four lines. Uh, you saw it there. I mean, I think two of the three guys on our fourth line, supposedly, are on the power play that make a lot of plays out there. So uh, we got a skilled lineup throughout our, uh, throughout our forwards. And I think saying that, we all still play the, the way that uh, we need to be. And that's down low cycling, playing hard and controlling the puck. And uh, Enzo and Freddie and, and Levo have been great. And so has that uh, Lindholm line. Both those lines have been really consistent. And I mean, if you want to win, that's uh, something you need. And you need uh, all four lines contributing. And that's what's happening right now. Mitch, is your confidence level at an all-time high right now? Uh, I think, you know, just. I think it's just different. I, I know now if stuff's not going the way it should be in the first second that I'm not getting frustrated. I'm just staying calm and, and just relaxing out there. And uh, When I get it, I'm just trying to make the, the, the right play and the simple play. And uh, if I see something else, I'm trying to make that play, obviously. But I think, uh, I think confidence just gets better in game by game when you start knowing your line mates more and more. And I think you know all three of us are just keep getting more confidence by the game.